What would you cook if a real live prince were coming over for dinner? As you can imagine, this was sort of a stressful dinner to prepare, even for me. It turns out that His Royal Highness really likes things with gochujang, so naturally I put spicy tteokbokki on the menu. I also had these beautiful mushrooms, so I decided to braise them for hours while I cooked the rest of the food. Because of his preference for gochujang and the fact that I had like mm, 10 pounds of tofu in my fridge, I also decided to add my favorite bar food on the menu, kimchi tubu. Finally, I had some leftover perilla leaves from the week before, and I wanted to use those up, so I decided to make my perilla leaf pancakes, only I used potatoes for the batter instead of flour, which I guess makes them perilla leaf potato pancakes. So all in all, despite having a slight meltdown when I realized that a member of royalty would be gracing my dinner table, I made the same food I would make if my friends or family were coming over, because isn't that always the most delicious food to make anyway? For dessert, the prince gave us a royal gift of dates from his own country, which provided the perfectly sweet ending to this princely meal.